one of the major questions i receive from a lot of people especially the beginners in the snail industry is that which of the breed or species of snail is the best for them to start with and even most of them find it so difficult to identify snails at the species level or at the variety level don't worry that's why in this video i'll be identifying the snails classifying them and also showing these differences and the similarities between the different species of snails and their varieties so please like the video subscribe to the channel if you've not done so hit the bell icon to stay notified once i release quality videos on the channel without wasting much of our time let's go all right in order to simplify things i'll be starting from a family of medium to large size tropical land snails with the family name achatinidae the group of snails in this family share certain similarities and also differences when it comes to characteristics and some of us might be familiar to some of these snails depending on the country you are or the region of the world you find yourself they are characterized as medium to large size snails because of their sizes and also when you compare them to other families of snails you realize they are big just like the snail i'm holding presently this is a family of another snail yes snails can be this small and further comparing this tiny snail with one of the family members of the achatinidae you can see these things are actual giants and that's why some of them are called giant snails and in order to understand more about the snails in this family they are subdivided into another group depending on their different characteristics called the genus and in this subgroup we have the genus achatina we have the genus lisa chatina and also we have the genus achachatina as the major popular groups under this family and under this genus we also have different species that fall under different genera depending on their characteristics that's where we have the achatina achatina snail we have the achatina Fulica snail and also we have the Achachatina marginata snail. Yes, it's getting clearer, right? We've gotten to the point where most people find it so difficult to make the decision on which of the species of snail to start with and I get this question a lot, especially from the beginners in the snail industry. In order to shed more light on this, let's start with the first species I'm holding right now, Achatina Achatina. Hey Ghanaians, yeah I know you guys are familiar with this one. This snail is popular in Ghana and also native to some West African countries like Syria, Lone, Liberia, Africa, Coast, Togo, Benin and also Nigeria. And one of the major distinctive features of the snail is the pattern on the shell and that's where it got the name Giant Tiger Land Snail from. And another distinctive feature is the color of the columella of this snail. The columella is like the curved part of the opening of the snail shell you can see it's pink in color and this is particular to this species of snail then looking at the tip of the snail you see that it's pointed when compared with other species of snail we get to compare that with other species as we move on in the video these snails have the ability to grow exceptionally big and also they have the ability to lay up to 1200 eggs per year and they do so by laying over 100 eggs per clutch and doing this like four to five times a year and now to the second species the achatina folica they share similar characteristics with the achatina achatina by possessing a pointed tip on their shell also but the major difference here is that they don't grow as big as the achatina achatina but they also lay similar numbers of egg when you compare them to the achatina achatina then moving on to the next species of snail we have the achachatina marginata species they are native to nigeria and they are commercially found here in nigeria one of their distinctive features is the tip of their shell which is broader when you compare them to other species of snail there are various varieties under this species that's where we have the variety ovum when you look at the variety ovum the distinctive features of this variety is that it has a white or a yellow columella and also the tip of the shell is white and this variety also has the albino strain so sometimes you can have the ovum variety which is also an albino on your farm and when you look at the suturalis variety you realize the tip of their shell is pink and when you look at the columella it's also pink in color 
yes it's kind of confusing right let me shed more light to that by comparing them side by side when you look at these nails i'm holding presently you see that they are hovum because they have the white tip on their shell and remember i said they can also come as albino so that's why this one is albino right here then further comparing them to the other variety which is the suturalis you can see the tip of the ovum is white while the tip of the suturalis is pinkish in color and this is one of their distinguishing characteristics and further comparing the opening of their shell the columella i talked about look at the suturalis zone you can see the suturalis zone is pinkish in color whereas when you look at the ovum one you see that it is yellowish or whitish in color so that's one of the distinct features of the two varieties at this point i think we have a better understanding when it comes to the species achachatina marginata and also the varieties under them for a quick recap we have the achachatina marginata ovum achachatina marginata Marginata suturalis, we have the Achachatina marginata egregia, we have the Achachatina marginata icterica, and we have the Achachatina marginata candefacta, and other Achachatina marginata varieties, which I'm not listing in this video. And this is what the Achachatina marginata candefacta variety looks like. It is a white shelled snail. It's not really commercially found here in Nigeria, so I won't be focusing on that in this video. Let's go on. Wait. Before we go on, take a second to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so and hit the bell icon to stay notified once I release quality videos on the channel. So let's go. In order to differentiate all these varieties and species of snail, it's better for you to study their physical characteristics and differences. That's where you have the Fulica I'm holding right here. When you compare it with the Achatina Achatina, you can see that they both have the pointed tips but the major difference between between them is that the pattern of the Achatina Achatina looks like that of the Tiger while that of the Achatina Fulica is different and when you look at the Achatina Achatina you realize that they actually grow bigger than the Achatina Fulica and then bringing the Achachatina marginata into the picture you see that this has a broader tip when you compare it with the Fulica and the Achatina Achatina so these are the major differences between these species and that will guide you in your decision making process now you might be asking which of these breed is the best for you to start with or which one will do well in your region well I think that's a video for another time please remember to like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to stay notified when I release quality videos on the channel till next time a peace